In this video, we discuss about bitwise end operator. It is denoted by single ampersand. If you use double ampersand in an expression, it will become logical end. But if you use single ampersand in an expression, it will become bitwise end. Bitwise end operator, it takes two numbers and performs end operation on individual bits of two numbers. The end operation returns true if both bits are true and it returns false if one of the bits is false. In this example, see the first case, both inputs are 0. So, end operation gives output 0. In the second case, one of the input is 0 it will give output 0. In the third case, again one of the input is 0, it will return false value. In the last case, both inputs are 1, then it will return true value. In this fashion, end operation works. But a bitwise end operator, it does or it performs end operation on each and every bits of given number. We see an example to demonstrate a bitwise end operator. Here I have taken a variable a, I have assigned it to 10. I am using bitwise end here, 10, bitwise end 3. Now we see what would be the value of a. I run this program, a value becomes 2. Now we see how do we get or how we got a value 2. In this example, a is equal to 10 and 3. First of all, 10 is converted into binary bits. If we convert 10 into binary bits, we get value 1, 0, 1, 0. If you have any doubt, in converting a decimal value into binary number or a decimal value into binary value. See the previous video about the bitwise operators introduction I have created. In that video, I have demonstrated how to convert a decimal value into binary value. This is the binary value of 10, 1010. I am writing it in 4 bits. And the binary value of 3 is equal to 11. One, one. 1 1. Since uh, 1 1 is only 2 bits and in the 10 case it is uh, occupying 4 bits, uh, I will add 2 zeros before 1 1. Now it will become equal number of bits 4 bits. Uh, now we find out 10 bitwise end 3 that is equal to we come from uh, right to left. Uh, here one input is 0 and second input is 1. End operation gives, uh, if one of the input is 0, it will, gives out, it will give output 0. In the second case, both inputs are 1, it will give output 1. In the third case, both inputs are 0, we get output 0. In the fourth case, one of the input is 0, that means 1 into 0, we get output 0. This is the binary value we got. Uh, and then we convert this binary value into decimal value. For this, we multiply the given value with the binary, uh, sorry, we multiply the given value with the 2 powers, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square. In this fashion, we, re we start from right to left, 2 square followed by 2 cube and so on. If there is any other bit, we write 2 power 4 and so on. Then that is equal to, we multiply with 0 into 2 cube, 0 into 2 cube we get value 8 plus 0 into 2 square we get value 4 and then 1 into 2 power 1 we get value 2 then 0 into 2 power 0 we get value, sorry, 2 power 0 1, so 0 into 1 
Now 0 into anything becomes 0 and finally we get 1 into 2. 2 is the final answer. So in this fashion we got output A is equal to 2. Likewise bitwise end operator works. And now we see the difference between bitwise end and logical end. Suppose if I perform logical end operation on the same values like A is equal to 10 logical end 3 we see what would be the output here in logical end operation it performs on the entire value for the logical end 10 becomes true value 10 becomes true means here value becomes 1 3 becomes true means value becomes 1 1 and 1 that means true and true true and true means again it will return true since both inputs are true the output will be true. Now a value becomes 1 that means if we perform logical end we are getting value a is equal to 1 but if we perform bitwise end we are getting output 2. In this fashion <coughs> logical end and bitwise end differs from each other.